Days after the Nandi Senator Stephen Sang trounced Nandi Governor Cleopas Lagat in the Jubilee Party primaries gubernatorial contest, the political supremacy between the two still is an issue on the table. Sang now linking the recent massive sacking of about 1,200 staff members to the outcome of the Jubilee primaries, alleging that the governor is out to rewarding his political cronies. The law is clear that for you to employ staff on permanent and pensionable, and for you to extend the term and contract of employees, it must be based on the law, and the procedure must be followed. The senator who seeks to unseat Mr. Lagarde during the August 8 polls has criticized the incumbent over what he says is coercing the county public service board to hire his political allies into the county staff through the back door. This, he says, is a plan devised by Lagarde to swindle salaries and shift blame to the incoming county government management. And we will not allow the outgoing team to ethnicize and create conflict that does not exist. We want to ask the County Public Service Board, stick to your mandate and don't be used to rubber stamp or to process irregular appointments or irregular extension of contracts or irregular confirmations on account of political pressure from the outgoing administration. The affected employees, among them early childhood development teachers, health workers, county drivers and a host of workers on contract, the battles between the county's public service board and the office of the county secretary have led to their woes. The senator has asked parliament to hasten passing of the transition bill to guide smooth transition in all the 47 counties ahead of the August polls. Mbako for Citizen Live at 1.